From this position, transfer your weight over the right foot. Keep the foot open and wide. Slowly lift the heel of the left foot. Let the weight go down through the ball of the big toe and the heel on the supporting foot. Once you feel that you are rooted, lift the left foot and gently place it above the right knee, as high up the thigh as possible. Gently let the arms float out to the side and bring the hands above the head, clasping hold of one wrist. Keep the shoulders soft and let the weight go down through the ball of the big toe and the heel. If you are able to find alignment and stability in this position, take the left knee back towards the wall behind you to open out the front of the hips. Release the left foot and bring it down so the feet are hip distance apart once again. And come onto the other side. Place the right foot above the left knee. The reason this is called tree is not because we're making this shape, mainly because we're finding foundation going down through the sole of the foot. If you're having problems in this position, the tip is to find something on the wall in front of you that's not moving and keep your gaze fixed onto that. You can also bring your awareness down to your hara, which is in the center of the body, an inch and a half below the navel. Try and be aware of your center. This should help you find your balance. Stand in alignment as before. Bring the hands behind the hips and clasp hold of the wrist. Inhale and exhale, bring the torso forward. Good. As you exhale, let the abdomen soften back towards the spine. Allow the weight to go down through the heels to open up the backs of the knees. The mind will go to the area of the body with the most tension. So try not to get caught up in the hamstrings being tight. Concentrate on the area of the back of the hips. Let go of any tension. We release the hips and the hamstrings in order to come forward. Good. Bend the knees, roll the head and shoulders and come up into standing. Take a small step forward with the right foot so the right heel is in line with the toes of the left foot. Good, bring the arms above the head. Keep the shoulders soft. Bring the hands back behind and clasp hold of the wrist. Then exhale and come forward. Transfer the weight slightly into the back foot, still keeping the foot rooted to the mat. Keep the weight in the right leg dropping down through the heel as you lift at the top of the right thigh, creating space at the top of the right hip. Keep the shoulder blades moving back towards the waist and the spine long. Good. Bend the knees, roll the head and shoulders and come back up into standing. Bring the left foot forward so the left heel is in line with the right toe and let the tailbone drop, tucking underneath the hips. Bring the hands back behind the hips and come forward on an exhalation. Transfer the weight back slightly, keeping the front foot rooted. Again, let the weight on the front foot go down through the heel. Open out the leg in two directions, down from the knee towards the heel and lifting up along the front of the thigh towards the hip. Good. Inhaling and exhaling. Try and release through the hip. Bend the knees, roll the head and shoulders, come back up into standing.